Hi, I'm Council Member Shelley Kaplan, and I have the privilege of discussing all the great achievements that have been made in the part of town located between Ramon Road to the north and Gerald Ford to the south. One of the best accomplishments is the completion of the award-winning Acatillo Park, honored by the American Society of Civil Engineers as the Parks and Recreation Project of the Year for the entire state of California. The Society recognized the park's many features, including a multi-use sports field, walking path, skateboard park, basketball courts, children's play areas, adult fitness areas, and covered picnic shelters. The Society was also impressed with the park's sustainability features. Noteworthy are the park's rock infiltration system that recaptures and reuses stormwater for irrigation, and its utilization of recycled materials, LED solar walking path lights, LED timed sports area lighting, and ambient lighting restrooms. Acatillo Park was also designed with lush and efficient desert landscaping including a smart irrigation control system that utilizes rain, sunlight, wind, and moisture sensors to determine the amount of water needed to keep the soccer and baseball fields green and vegetation healthy. In addition, Acatillo Park is now home to the family-friendly film series, Movies in the Park, sponsored by the City of Cathedral City and organized by the Cathedral City Evening Rotary Club. The movie series is generally shown on the fourth Saturday every month between November and May. We're also happy to announce that Regency Theatres has refurbished the former Cinemark, located next to Food for Less in the Cathedral City Marketplace. Completed this past fall, the new theater features 10 screens, new concession stands, and a great selection of second-run movies at discounted rates. This is a great entertainment option for those who want to see a movie on a large screen but waited too long during the first run or are budget conscious when it comes to family entertainment. Besides Regency Theater, several other new businesses have opened since Team 2014 took office. They include the new Family Dollar on Date Palm Drive, the ever so popular In Shape Fitness, and Tony's Burgers in the Mission Plaza Shopping Center on Date Palm Drive. These thriving businesses have become a mainstay in the lives of our residents and the visitors who stay at the nearby Holiday Inn Express. For greater care of our LGBT community, Borrego Health has expanded to open a new Borrego Health Specialty Care Center called Stonewall Medical Center and Pharmacy, located at the Gentry Plaza in Cathedral City. This facility complements Borrego Health Centro Medico that offers comprehensive medical and dental care as well as urgent care just down Ramon Road next to Rite Aid. Finally, students attending Cathedral City High School have a much safer route to walk to and from school with the city's $725,000 investment to improve Ortega Road between Via de Anza and Date Palm Drive. The project included new pavement at Ortega Road along with the construction of curbing, gutters, and new sidewalks. The project also required the relocation of a Coachella Valley Water District water line. Funding for the construction work came from community development block grants along with safe routes to school grants from the state. The city has also announced that it plans to widen the Date Palm Bridge and build a new bridge that crosses the Whitewater River Wash on Cathedral Canyon Drive. The bridge widening project at Date Palm Drive between Perez Road and Gerald Ford will expand the number of lanes from four to six. Construction on the $18.8 million project will begin in late 2017 and will take nearly 18 months to complete. During the process, the bridge will remain open to through traffic. However, as with any construction project, there will be occasional traffic delays. The final right-of-way permits are nearly complete and construction should begin in the late spring or early summer on the Cathedral Canyon Bridge Project. As we have witnessed this season, the low water crossing has been closed multiple times to through traffic and water has continued to flow over the crossing for weeks. The nearly 22 million four lane Cathedral Canyon Bridge Project is classified as a safety improvement project under the Federal Highway Bridge Program. The Federal Highway Administration considers low water crossings as safety hazards due to the number of fatalities that occur when vehicles and pedestrians 
attempt to cross flooded low water crossings. Several weeks ago, a driver ignored street closure signs and was swept off the road. Our fire department had to conduct a swift water rescue. Fortunately, the driver of the car and our firefighters were unharmed, but his car was virtually totaled. The bridge project will provide an all-weather roadway across Whitewater River, allowing emergency vehicles direct access to Cathedral Canyon Drive without having to detour to Date Palm Drive. It will also provide pedestrian and bicycle access, which currently does not exist. In closing, Cathedral City has and continues to invest in this section of town when it comes to parks, roads, sidewalks, and bridges. We know that investments like these will help spur more interest from those who want to buy a home, businesses that want to relocate here, or expand their current operations, and tourists that come to stay at our hotels, watch a movie, work out, or dine at our local restaurants. When we work together, anything could happen.